I was three years old when I asked my mother, feel what kind of headache I have. Her response was, I can't feel that. I immediately replied, where I come from, they can. That was my very first memory as a human. I was already very aware that something was amiss, so I immediately debunked the tales of Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. Later, I evolved into an investigative journalist and conspiracy theorist. Subsequently, I specialized in reality shifting slash reality warping. I have involuntarily shifted multiple times. I will now explain the latest event. In late January 2023, I experienced an incredibly severe epileptic seizure, of which I have no recollection. What I do remember is being invited to a meeting of Synforum.nl, something they organize regularly. This time, it was in Tienen, Belgium. For clarity, let's distinguish between Gloomy 1 and Gloomy 2. Gloomy 1 is the one we know from this reality, and Gloomy 2 is the one who shifted without realizing it. So, as Gloomy 2, I walked through a double door of a fairly large complex. Immediately, two more giants appeared and escorted me to my bedroom. Gloomy 2 was unaware that he would be staying overnight. Suddenly, her strong arms grabbed me and placed me in what turned out to be a isolation cell. They strapped me to a bed and left the room. Gloomy 2 spent two full days and nights in that bed, observed only through a small window in the room. I received no food or drink during that time. I saw no one. As Gloomy 2, I found it strange that I didn't need to use the bathroom. I had also lost a considerable amount of weight and managed to free my right arm. I could sit up. Suddenly, unbelievably, my most frequently used password appeared on the wall. Faster and faster. Then I heard a male voice. I looked around and saw a small speaker installed. The first thing the voice said was, you've suffered enough. The second thing the voice said was, there are no aliens. My immediate question was, then who built the pyramids and, for example, the Sumerian tablets? He replied, that was us. Naturally, my interest was piqued, and I asked for more explanation. It turns out they were an advanced stage of humanity, essentially humans from the future. They like to be called Ubermensch, based on Nietzsche's idea. He made it clear that motherships were settled behind the moon. He said, as soon as something or someone dies, the spirit is intercepted and placed in a kind of clone. Then they travel, via a wormhole, to Earth 2.0. There, eternal life awaits. You meet all the people you hold dear, those who have passed away. Next thing. Gloomy 2 later became Gloomy 1 again, and thus, a familiar yet new reality unfolded. The first thing I became aware of was that I was being held at Psychiatric Hospital Prisma in Tienen. I experienced one epileptic seizure after another, and instead of administering medication, they locked me in a kind of isolation room. Prisma quickly realized I didn't belong there, and I was transferred to St. Truiden, Aster, Orion II. There, I was placed under observation for two times three months. Later, I voluntarily continued going to Orion 4 because I felt these events were lifting my feet from the Earth. Now, during the Gloomy 2 incidents, Gloomy 1 was entirely unaware of what was happening around him. Not only did the doctor and ambulance arrive after the neighbors found me in a pool of blood, but I was also taken to the emergency room. Apparently, I was asked there if I wanted to stay in the hospital. I replied, I want to go home, which was very irresponsible of the hospital to let me go. Again, I was entirely unaware. So, I involuntarily shifted again. Now, after a year, I have gained much more experience. They allowed me to find the Holy Grail and sit from it. These experiences have led me to dwell in the light. Darkness has no hold on me anymore. Furthermore, with the light of a single candle, I illuminate all darkness. And that is the uniqueness of Bloomer 2000. 
My mission is to open myself to anyone struggling, either with the conditions on this earth or with the significant transition to the light. 2.0 is obeying you to follow his example. That's because the only way to preserve our precious planet. 1.0 We're looking out for having you aboard soon. Greetings, Bloomy, Belgium. <laughs>